Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast. Anchor gives you everything you need in one place for free, which you can use right from your phone or computer. Creation Tools allows you to record and edit your podcast so it sounds great. They distribute your podcast for you. It can be heard everywhere, such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and many more. You can easily make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to start today. On today's podcast, I spoke to John Bird. He is a gentleman that I discovered through a couple Facebook, mutual Facebook um, groups about wedding photography and videography. And and then he just seemed to have uh, disappeared for a little bit. And then all of a sudden he came back and I found him again. And he had started a, a new company called Easy Flicks. It's if for some people that are not, not aware, um, us filmmakers and photographers, we are trying to do away with physical media um, because one, it makes it easier for us to deliver to our our clients because they we're taking the middleman out of the out of it. No postman, no UPS, anything like that. No risk of it being lost. So online delivery is becoming um, the future, in my opinion. So um, he actually sat down with a couple friends and decided to start a company called uh, Easy Flicks. Um, Easy Flicks is unique because it does both photo and video. Um, and that's what I do. And that's what he does. And we talked about that a little bit in the podcast. Um, but for a limited time, um, Easy Flicks is being kind and actually doing a 10% off promo code. So if you check out their website, I'll have it linked in the show notes. Um, put in the code ISP easy and you'll get 10% off when you uh, join up. So I hope you enjoy this podcast and uh, it was great talking with John and he had some great information on um, his company Easy Flicks. We had to shut, we had to, um, we had to uh, stop it quick or short actually, because I was um, recording it at 4.30 in the morning and John actually lives in the UK. So they're about six hours ahead of us. So I had to wake up super early. So you might notice my voice is a little bit different. Um, I was a little tired. And the reason why we had to cut it short was because my children woke up and they walked into my office as I was recording the podcast. So hopefully you don't hear any of that and hopefully you enjoy the podcast. I'd like to welcome John Bird to the uh, podcast. John, hello. say hello. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? You okay? Yeah, I'm good, man. How you doing? Not so bad. I'm a bit chilly. Chilly. <laughs> I've just yeah, I've just come into the office. I've not been here long, so. Oh, nice. <laughs> so let's start out. Um, so what's what's your background, John? Um, I mean, I'm still uh, I'm still shooting weddings, so um, I still have uh, I do wedding photography and videography. Um, I started about six years ago. Um, it's kind of strange because uh, back then I, I had a kind of idea that I wanted to do uh, wedding videography. And at the time, I thought it would be possible to shoot a wedding on a GoPro. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, I, I literally had no idea. And um, I bought this GoPro and uh, I, I started kind of using it, going to the parks and stuff. soon realized that it was not going to work at all. <laughs> so. Um, so yeah, I ended up buying a DSLR, a little 550D, and uh, funnily enough, I fell in love with photography first, and uh, from there it just kind of progressed, and uh, yeah, I got into weddings and started shooting combos relatively quickly after that. Nice, nice. Uh, so, yeah. That's kind of my opposite. I started doing weddings when I worked for a television station like 20 years ago, um, mm-hmm. back when everybody was shooting on tape still, and um, I shot video and then went the opposite route and then started doing photography um later on in life like maybe about six seven years ago um nice i i love both and i i just uh i do both as well so yeah um, yeah yeah i think both it, got um, that in common yeah definitely with the photography uh, photography it kind of um you know because i you have to learn the kind of i really went down the route of learning all the rules and stuff you know like going on youtube and looking mm-hmm. at like 
rule of thirds and all that. It seems so kind of amateurish back, you know, um, looking back because it, it's just, I was so new to it, you know, and then um, it was so much easier to then move into the video thing because essentially you, I know there's a few kind of transitions and uh, kind of like camera movements and things like that, but generally you just hit record and kind of go from there. And um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> awesome. Um, where, where are you from? I live in Lancaster in the UK. Um, it's uh, a little place called Caton, which is, um, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of in the outback. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, there's not much happening there, but it's not too far away from town. So nice. um, I, I just kind of scooter in on my little scooter down the cycle track to work. <laughs> nice. So <laughs> you said you were chilly. What's the temperature there? <laughs> it's pretty chilly out. I don't know what the temperature is, but, um, We've just moved into a new office, which is um, in town, and it's above a um, like a, ve a vegan cafe. Uh, it's quite a big place. Uh, it's a really old building, and the heating is it's it takes a while to heat the place. If you know what I mean? So yeah. Um, so I'm just kind of I've uh, I've got me I've, I've got me gloves on and everything. I'm just kind of like trying to uh, trying to keep warm while the heating kicks in. Huh. It's negative six here in Wisconsin. Oh, wow. So it is actually cold there. I, thought yeah. it'd be, I don't know why, but I thought it'd be warm. No, no, I wish it was warm. <laughs> right, cool. Yeah, this is still not kicking in. I don't know what's going on with this radiator today, but uh, I'll be having words. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, the other reason why I wanted to, to speak to you was your uh, company called EasyFlix. Kind of yeah. walk me through that. What was your idea behind it and how did it, uh, how did it come to fruition? Um. I guess like, you know, with being in the industry for a, a little while, um, the wedding industry, um, I think, it, you know, at the time I've, I've, I mean, I've been using USBs to deliver everything. Um, and at some point I realized like, it's just taking, it is literally just taking time. It costs a lot of money. I mean, a lot of people, the, I guess they use USBs. Uh, some people still use like DVDs as well. Um, but they're kind of, they're, they seem really outdated to me. Now. I guess yeah. it's like, you know, like you say with the tapes and stuff like that. I, I don't know. I think things are moving. I understand, you know, like I see it a lot that people still use DVDs um, and their clients need DVDs, you know, like the older generation, I guess, like maybe with the dance stuff and things like that. Yeah, um, like dance uh, shows and stuff. Like. Yeah, dance shows and plays and mm. things. That's that's really the only the only time that I use a DVD. Um, mm -hmm. My wedding clients really understand that you know it's either digital or a USB um, delivery. Yeah, and I think USB is kind of it's still kind of standard, isn't it? USB. Yeah, uh, it's kind of nice as well. I do like USB. I did, I did like because I mean you can brand everything. It's tangible. You can send it in a nice, you know, with a nice bow on it, a nice little box and things like that. Yeah. I do still think that has its place, definitely. Yeah, but um, but for the most part, 90% of the clients can only play that on their computer. They're not going to be yeah, able well, to figure out how to transfer it to something that they can watch on their TV or, yeah. you know, it, it, it just may not work in a TV that has a USB drive. Exactly, you know? yeah. I mean, that was something that I didn't, I didn't really consider at the time um, as well that – you know, things are moving. I mean, the new MacBooks or Mac Pros or whatever. I mean, I use Windows, so I don't know what mm -hmm. the crack is with that. But I do know that some of the hardware on that has changed um, and USBs literally don't go in anymore. Um, so I don't know if people, you know, would send USB drives with like a special attachment or something like that. And it probably costs a fortune if it's Apple, do you know what I mean? So I don't really know how that works. But um you know, it came to a point where I sort of realized it's, it's costing me time and money. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking around and I'm, I'm seeing a lot of, I mean, you can see a lot of photography galleries. There's a lot out there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And so, but there's not much for um, video. Um, and I was just kind of like, I needed to send both. I didn't want to be paying for two services. I didn't want to be, you know, messing around too much um, with, with a few different platforms and things like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I was I literally we invited some friends around for tea, uh, one of which is a um, developer, mm. and I just said, look, you know, I've got this idea. Um, do you fancy coming in? Halves, we'll we'll go for it. And we sort of drank some wine and had some food, and then uh, next day we kind of relentlessly started work on it. Um, uh, but now this this guy he ended up too busy, so. I'm kind of running solo with a little team of mine and, uh, and going from there really. <laughs> wow. So, so. Do you, what are the ins and outs of it? Is that, I mean, don't reveal 
too much behind the industry, however you're doing it. But is it um, when people upload, is it all stored stored locally? Do you have a local server? Um, are you using yeah. some set of uh, backbone backend um, engine? Yes. Yeah, so um, we basically have um, a UK based um, server team, uh, and they look after it's like a 24 hour support they look after all the servers we have multiple servers um that do different backups jobs. and everything so, so um the backups is um uh, is it called b2 backblaze backups oh sure so basically okay. everything's kind of connected to that so it's a really solid backup um and they happen um regularly um but in terms of the other servers um it's um it's all about um one does, you know, conversion for the videos. So, for example, if when when you upload a video to EasyFlix, it has to go through like a conversion process. Okay. Um, but the way I wanted it wanted it to be is obviously um, the conversion would be done so that it would stream well, and then um, but we'd still retain the original file. So for so when you upload, you, the uh, client has the ability to download the original file. Um, as well as like the social version and, and be able to stream it okay. smoothly without, you know, without it buffering and stuff. So um, there's quite a bit that kind of went into the mind behind that. Okay. So, so yeah, there's, so there's multiple versions. That's, that's interesting. So they're watching yeah. one version that's streamable or a little bit lower quality, but when they actually go to claim, yeah. yeah, when they go to claim yeah. their file, they can get the high quality. They download that's the original. Good. That's yeah. the one, even though they're both high quality and I needed to, it's kind of like tweaking the, um, sort of we're still going through that kind of tweaking yeah. the you know we don't we want we don't want to give on the quality but also we don't want it to be stopping halfway yeah through. exactly but, you know it's um it's still a, a work in process a pro- progress to um to get that right yeah i would imagine it's something uh like netflix uses where if your internet quality is lower it um doesn't buffer but the 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 quality of the video drops to where yeah. it still plays yeah, or whatever that, you know. see cur- currently it's more it's it's more the um, basically if they try to stream it it starts doing the whole horrible buffing wheel yeah. thing if they've got a terrible connection but the way that it is um, I, d- I think they need to have a really terrible connection for it to, <laughs> for, it, for it to not to work we don't get too many reports on that um, but it is a matter of especially with the 4k stuff um, it's tweaking the um, the encoding process uh, to to work for 4k really and so we're just tweaking it i know that some people have had some issues with the kind of thing yeah. so we're kind of just we're just trying to find a balance um and then obviously later on as we start investing more into it it's going to be there should be some playback options and things like that so that the client should be able to go down to 720 if they wanted to and things like that That'd be yeah really nice. yeah um, i mean i just recently joined your service and uh-huh. i've had two weddings um, and neither of them really complained at all. Um, mm-hmm. one was when I think you were having a server issue or something like that. And I, mm-hmm. I had everything uploaded and I was just like, Oh, it's probably not going to work. The streaming's probably not going to work at this point, but uh-huh. you can download it. And she right. actually checked it the next day and it was working. So, right. um, everything yeah. worked um, that day. Yeah, that was it was. Cool. We, we, we did go through a little period, um, not too long ago in November where it was, something something kind of yeah, like that's exactly when it was november <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah and uh and the compression uh we had to manually compress um quite a lot of files and i think some didn't quite work and something you know and these are the teething problems with very yeah you know, of it's course quite a young yeah. thing and um but it's quite exciting i mean I'm, I'm i'm enjoying even the problems i'm, I'm enjoying sort of getting the solutions because ultimately these problems are going to make the platform more solid and uh and you know well it's just going to work better as we start fixing them so um it's all good it's all good yeah it's been a um a good experience um uh, so you, you you're kind of doing a an algorithm to compress and stream the the videos what about photos um i haven't used your service yet for photos except for like a couple snaps that i've done when i've just mm-hmm. done strictly uh video um weddings and they've been okay one of the brides actually printed one off um yeah it's not sitting on her desk actually uh, nice. uh but uh what kind of is there any compression there so with the photos if you you basically upload the full res mm-hmm. uh into the uploader and um, for the gallery there is um it, it compresses them in a way that it loads the gallery quicker um and um you know, it, well, I, that just basically helps optimize the gallery so that you can scroll through them a lot quicker and the okay. page doesn't take too long to load, right? Cool. Um, but we have just um, 
created a new feature where if you go to the options tab, you're able to um, select um, the option of downloading the single high res images. Um, iOS are kind of blocking like all the good stuff, you know, like they, they, they just seem to have like a problem with people having fun or something. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> you can't, you can't do a lot on iOS, but uh, um, we, we've made it as easy as possible. But um, so the client will be able to, if you tick that option, they'll be able to download the single high res images from the gallery. Mm -hmm. um, but if they want to just download the whole, the whole lot, they'll just go to the downloads area and download everything in either high res or social size. Um, so yeah, again, you know, we compress some things for viewing, but we keep all of the originals for cool. downloading because then it keeps it, you know, it keeps it nice. And I mean, that's what you would expect. So I think so. Yeah. And you bring up, uh, Apple iOS. Um, I would imagine their walled garden is a little harder to get into. Uh, do you have yeah. an app application coming up for the service? Um, there's nothing immediately in the pipeline. Um, but it's something that, I mean, you know, for example, you can look at all the different gallery types and things like that are already out there. And I mm -hmm. think it's important that I have two things where the um, the service has to be enough and like I want to kind of be on par with, uh, you know, with what's already out there. I don't want people to think that it's a downgrade or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, I want to keep everything really simple. And I mean, clients, let's face it, like we are kind of more savvy, you know, with technology and yeah, things like yeah. that clients can be less on the it depends what they do as a job and what they, you know what i mean but yeah exactly it needs yeah. to be just super simple um i guess clients are used to apps and stuff like that so that's definitely something that you know needs to come out a little bit later on um but again it, it, they just generally want to be able to download the stuff and look at their stuff and have it really nice and it's all about first impressions and you know having that kind of wow factor when the yeah. photographer sends the images over and yeah. things. i think that's what's important yeah, again i've looked at Sorry, sorry. Go oh, you know, I was just saying your delivery system with the email, that works really great. Um, yeah, that looks all nice and stuff. And I think that's kind of like, you know, that's that's a, that's another thing to have. It's a nice feature. You can brand that and stuff. Um, and, and that's part of the process. That's part of the, the initial delivery and things. And um, but I was, what I was going to say then? I forgot. Oh, sure. It's all right. No, <laughs> I totally forgot. So it's cool. Yeah, I cut you off. Sorry about that. <clears throat> sorry. Um, so... Um, well, getting back to like your your wedding photography and and uh, videography, uh, how many um, how many weddings a year do you shoot? Um, I think it's I've been shooting roughly thirty to forty um, a year. So oh, wow. Um, so you're so working just, every weekend. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of like, well, it, it, it's usually spaced between. Like, because sometimes I'll do two or three in a row, which is oh wow. Well, you, I'm sure you've done two or three in a row. Before, yeah, maybe. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's just a lot. <laughs> but yeah. um, but yeah. So I've been super busy with it, and um, don't get me wrong, I still love the weddings. I still, I still love um, video, photo. I, I love doing you know creative things and stuff. But it has, you know, with I'm more of a I guess an entrepreneur. I have like ideas, and I have creativeness in that sense and i like to explore new ideas and kind of go with things you know what i mean and i like to yeah. take risks and kind of you know go for go for things so um i'm really excited to kind of move in this direction because it's completely different to what i've been used to for so long um so yeah it's cool man it's cool 30 weddings wow i i think my busiest year i've done 30 weddings um that's a you know that's an accomplishment accomplishment of it on itself um yeah. <clears throat> just that is yeah <laughs> just finding the time to edit all that afterwards do you do all your your own editing do your you know photo touching retouching things like that or yeah. do, you, do you actually send I, that out yeah i do it all myself um at some point um i did i did sort of farm it out and uh and that was okay i think mm -hmm. but um one time i had someone come it was um, my cousin she came and uh I could look over a shoulder and say, look, you know, this is, this does this and blah, blah, blah. And that, that kind of worked out for a little while, but it, it didn't last too long. Um, and I found that, I don't know, I was just kind of, I don't know, I didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't fully the same. I, mm -hmm. I, I had, I had to still go in and tweak things, you know, especially the videos. I had to go in and tweak things. And, uh, I found that I was just kind of like more worried about whether she's getting it right. And obviously then I was paying out for her and yeah. it just became, um, bit of a pain and then so anyway yeah i mean at some point i tried online kind of sending it off on google drive as well and yeah. uh, 
you know, seeing if people could uh, could edit it that way. But uploading everything on the connection at home, you know, where <laughs> I was, it was just it was just too much, and um, I, I figured it would be easier to do it myself. And yeah, I mean, it's it's still not easy to do it all yourself. No. But I, I only, I mean, I do speeches and ceremony, but um, I also only give an eight minute film. So as far as you know. Uh, videographers go you know a lot of people are offering like a 20 minute film and i just feel sorry for them guys man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so. um i'm right there with you like uh my second my seconds that shoot with me on the day of always give me a hard time and they're like why are we even here because you're just going to use all your footage anyway and not none of mine <laughs> and i go yeah. well you know you're here to get the things that i may miss <laughs> um but it's I use all my footage because I know my footage, and then I just yeah. use yours to to sprinkle in. And uh, yeah, I've done you know. I've done that with um, with second shoots. Well, I've yeah. just realised that um, I've kind of just used my own. I mean, I had one guy not too long ago, and I don't know he he sort of came along and uh, he had some great footage. In fact, I did sort of scroll through because there was a few bits that I relied on him to get, and mm -hmm. that's kind of the footage I used. But apart from that. Even though I had some great footage, I, I oh, just yeah. knew what I got, you know, yeah, and I exactly. just kind of used that. It, and it's more of a time thing than anything. It's not that I don't yeah. trust them or anything. It's just like you just remember. I think yeah, you have reference exactly. to the day, don't you? Oh, yeah. I remember this. I'll do that. I can pull that in from there and so on. Um, yeah, but you yeah. just don't know, do you? With the second shoot, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. And I guess the good, I guess the good thing is you can upsell maybe a, a longer edit later on and have a lot more footage there. Yeah, definitely, and. Um, if there is something I'm missing, you know, then I can look at their, their footage and, and I always do look at their footage as well. Yeah. All right. Well, I think John, we're going to have to, uh, wrap up the podcast. I do appreciate you having, uh, the time to speak with me and no everything like that. And, um, uh, I really do appreciate it. Yeah. It's great to, uh, it's great to have a chat and, uh, yeah. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll still enjoy using the system. Give us a shout if you need anything. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, man. All right. All right. Thanks. Thanks.